This tutorial is about how to import OpenStreetMap data uh, to Blender so you can put your uh, buildings and your plannings uh, there and have your environment. So I suggest to install, <coughs> there's an add-on and it's called uh, Blender OSM. You can find it Blender OSM add on so this is uh, working pretty well so it's not too elaborated and not really state of the art but you get uh, uh, data and I will show you how this works uh, unfortunately you should pay some five dollars ninety I think so it's not they don't want to give it for free uh, these developers but I think it's worth it if you want to um, work on it so download it install it as described in uh, <coughs> in the documentations there's an extended documentation how to do that how to to work with it go through it and so on I give you a short impression so it comes <coughs> with a with a menu here um, you give the geo positions of the rectangle of your interest to do that you can uh, go here to their web page zoom in to uh, Switzerland not too comfortable but it's working Zurich so and then you uh, make take a certain rectangle do not make it too big because the amount of data is uh, very soon very extensive so copy that and uh, go here and say paste and now these coordinates are paste and you simply have to import this data this takes a while you can uh, <coughs> say which aspects uh, you want to import roads paths railways forests waters and so on So now we are here we are and you see we are in the middle of the city we have all these data and this is Zurich on Kirche. So our view cuts after a kilometer so we can check that uh, it's, uh, here it's with a view we have a camera of 50, 35 uh, millimeters we start with a distance of 10 centimeter and end with one kilometer put that to 10 kilometers and then you get uh, the rest so this is our area these are the maps we have uh, materials, everything proper. So that's what I wanted to show. Very simple, quite uh, impressive. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.